Thus far, the samples that we have loaded into our zones that we have created have been one shot nature or monophonic melodic notes. In this video, we are going to take a look at working with loops points in our samples. In many cases, you may wish to use direct wave to play loops, thus allowing you to build a patch with a large amount of drum beats which can be accessed from your keyboard. We'll look at how to set up your samples to play in loop mode as well as looking at the various loop modes. In my example, I have already loaded a drum beat loop in a zone. Playing the key plays the sample as a one shot. We want to make the sample automatically loop as long as the key is being held. We need to open the sample window where the sample looping functions are located. Along the bottom, under the waveform view, we can see the section of controls that make up the looping functions. The first is a sample star control. This allows you to set at which point in the sample the playback will begin once the key is pressed. Now by default, the samples are not set to loop. They'll only play in a one shot fashion. If you want the sample to loop, then you'll need to set one of the loop modes. This is done from the loop type menu, which is set to disabled by default. The most basic setting is forward. With this type activated, the sample will be automatically returned to the beginning and played forward through the loop again until the key is depressed. One shot will play the sample in its entirety one time, even if the key is depressed before the playback reaches the end of the sample. The sustain method will continue to play the notes in a sustained fashion after the key is released. The decay speed of the sustain is set with the ADSR section for the zone. Therefore, in order for this to work, you need to make sure that your release values are high enough. Bounce will play the loop forward till it reaches the end, then begin playing the loop in reverse till it reaches the start of the loop, then continue again to play the loop forward. This continues till the key is depressed. The loop start sets the point where after the sample loops back to play again, this control at which point the sample will begin playing from. The sample endpoint determines at which point in the sample the loop will go back to the beginning and play again. In this video, we had a look at working with samples in loop mode and ways to edit and control the loop's playback. In upcoming videos, we'll begin coverage on the zone and programming processing controls and direct waves, settings, and preferences.